Welcome to the Rebel Love Show, where we are once a week broadcast from Manchester, New Hampshire, where we are pro-pot, pro-gun, and pro-coffee. I love your announcer boys. Oh, do you, babe? Yeah, I think it's sexy. Oh, thank you. It, it's a turn on. Yeah. Well, I do, <laughs> I, I do what I can. So, uh, we got a bunch of announcements to start off the show. Uh, first off, we will be recording at the New Hampshire Hemp Fest and Freedom Rally. Uh, it would be, uh, it would be on uh, what is it, August twenty seventh through the thirtieth. It and is yeah, August twenty seventh through the thirtieth. But I think if you come on the twenty seventh, it's like an extra fee. Have we established that or not? If you come on that Thursday, oh, I yeah. think you have to pay an extra fee. But if you, I think maybe if you're just camping, if you're coming for the day, I think it might be fine. I'm not 100% sure. But if you're interested, just go to their website, which is. <laughs> oh, New Hampshire Hemp Fest, uh, dot com. I believe that is the Yeah, check uh, out website. their Facebook. They have some awesome DJs. Um, I think Rob actually went to see one of the DJs. No, play. we didn't see a DJ. The uh, the other night uh, when Cody O'Connor from Off the Air Live. Oh, my God, uh, these guys. <laughs> we uh, He came down to uh, dr uh, drink up with us and whatnot, party it up. and uh, They had a boys night. Yeah. They had a boy date. Well, you guys were doing your 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 girl thing, the seditious sirens, and you know we were we, we went. To I don't hit think the we town. were doing anything that night. No, you no, that was during the seditious sirens when you're recording at Dale's. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just remember coming home, and then it's like the band of three drunk brothers, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what are these guys doing? Well, anyways, yeah, that night uh, uh, we uh, hit oh God, we hit a cop bar up, which you know we I hate going into Shasky a cop bar. Shaskin is a cop bar. Oh yeah, yeah, Shaskin is a cop bar. Yeah. Where's Shaskin? Uh, it's on Elm in uh, Manchester, downtown Elm, part of the, the bar scene down there. It's kind of in between. It, it's pretty much uh, right stab in the middle of downtown uh, Manch on Elm. That's cool. That's right. I mean, I don't know if we're exactly promoting it because I'm it's not. a pop bar. It's, it's an <laughs> well, at any rate, we, we were attracted to it because uh, there was this, like, Scott-esque band playing, and both both me and Cody love ska music, so we're like horns. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, I didn't know that. You didn't know what Scott is? No, you just have like a new like music oh choice every week. It's cool. Yeah, you no, just I, give I love Rob Scott. Rob his weekly picks. <laughs> I heard a really good band. I doubt they'll be playing at Hemfest. Uh, it was at actually a friend's new movers party, kind of. And what, do you remember the name of that band? A uh, which band now? I think it was like. It wasn't Alex and Annie or something of that nature, but I know they we could buy their album with Bitcoin. Oh yeah 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 yeah, uh, Francine and <sighs> Freddie. Yeah, I really like them. I love. I'm feeling the acoustic lately. Yeah yeah, one of the porks here. Uh, he had a house party and he had a band flown in from <laughs> California because he Wait, paid for oh, the Indiegogo. The Sriracha guy. Yeah yeah yeah. He's making millions. Uh, buy his book the sriracha cookbook the sriracha cookbook yeah, yeah we i get him on the show really, one day yeah i actually really want that book so if you bought it for me I well, you, you know i love sriracha, sriracha. yeah i could use some ideas um but anyways so some of the van the bands playing um in case you might know in them what would it be well the the biggest one was uh um rustic overtones uh that i really want uh well we saw them at uh Shaskeen. uh they're kind of they're kind of like a they they can burst out to Scott, but they never really did. They're more of like a Dave Matthews band esque. I don't know. I don't it even know good. who Dave Matthews is. Wait, what? 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 Stop! 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 Dave Matthews band. They, 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 no. They're some South Africa. They're everyone smokes up when they go see them. They're no. they're they're folky, but they have horns like a saxophone and stuff like that. Well, maybe you'll play some it for me on the break. I will. So I, I, I can be I, I less ignorant. <laughs> um, I will definitely have to some, uh, do Some that. of the fun things going on there, um, besides they have 10 legalization speakers. Rich uh, Paul Rich and Paul. Uh, Glenn Aldrich, both free staters that are going to be uh, uh, at the... Uh, uh, at Hempfest, which throw that's cool that they're throwing in like some political stuff. Which on top we're, of, uh, do we count as legalizations? Oh, because we're not speaking. We're just well, we we're just will a, be pot, speaking a pro pot in regards to doing podcast. a show. And, and what will, day is our show? I don't know. I when gotta figure that out. When will we? We we do need to figure that out so we can promote it. Um, 
So I think it's 10 plus DJs playing. Um, it's four days and nights of music. Uh, the speakers, they're having Mystic Art UV Forest. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is, that but I want to be shroomy for that. That oh, sounds badass. Do you badass. want a shroom or MDMA for that? Uh, no, no, no. no, I, no. I We're doing both. Okay. I want a hippie flip again. See, I'm jealous. Maybe, maybe we'll hippie flip in the uh, in the Mystic Arts Forest, but I really want to roll uh, listening to some DJs with you. Yeah. Yeah. We got to space we it got, out. We got to space out each each day. Um, so you know where me and Rob will be most of the time in the Arts UV Forest, no, the no, Arts no. Village. Well, there, there, there's also Shad oh, Sex Gnome. Oh, Shad Sex Gnome. Professional body painting, um, which... Sounds just amazing. This festival sounds like it's going to be awesome. So can, you know oh, how you re- can go, right? Hey, babe, babe we can relive Pork Fest, the big gay dance party. We can get body painted. It'll and, be uh, professionally. Though. It professional won't melt body off. paint. <laughs> it won't melt and, off. And uh, do, uh, do some uh, MDMA and go to a DJ and dance around in the, in the mountains. What do you think about the Woodstock Slip and Slide and Mud competition? I feel like we should definitely enter that and win. Like, we're going all out for this fucking festival. We're celebrating. We got a lot to celebrate. I'm down for the mud slide competition. I look good covered in mud. You look good covered in anything. Yeah, babe. I think so. I think it's really cool. They also have a kid's tent. So if you have kids and, you know, you don't want them around all of that stuff... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love it. This is like a, a druggy uh, music festival, and uh, what do they do? They have a they have a, a kids area. The kids need love bring too. Your fr- bring your family. It's it's uh, it's, it's a all family for all ages. event. What do you mean? Like kids? I think kids should be around that stuff. I think Jared put it best. He was like, "Fuck this family area." Yeah, is what he said about pork fest because he wants his kids to see this shit. Like he wants his kids just to be around. Like everyone just having a good time and enjoying themselves. They're not hurting anyone. And he doesn't want, you know, his kids to look at it like, you know, you have to be separated from people who are just having a good time. I mean, I guess some stuff isn't for kids. Don't get me wrong. Uh, But I didn't like the whole idea of the kids area. You don't like it or you do? I didn't. I I like. Oh, at Pork Fest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I I love families. I love babies. I love kids. I I don't think they should be severed. We're not horrible people. Oh, I I, uh, I didn't hold back in front of kids at Pork Fest. I was I would smoke up in front of them or whatnot. Yeah, and yeah. people were smoking like on the field where we were taking the picture um, for the group festival, and kids were there. And it was, so, uh, yeah, so yeah. what? Should, it's, it's not like we're like just you do. giving like giving passing the blunt to them. You know, I always found it odd that it's okay to like have a drink in front of your child. But for somehow at the, the moment, it's like we've gotten to this point in society where it's okay if you smoke, but it's really taboo to like smoke in front of kids. Like that's still like a taboo thing, but smoking in itself is not taboo anymore. Yeah. I mean, I feel like people are becoming more just open to the ideas that, you know, maybe you this we painted this thing to be so horrible and only for criminals. Like, no, it's, it's really not. If you dial down like what you're posing it to be then it's not so scary um but anyway so you know bring your kids your personal choice whatever uh the visual arts village uh glow yoga drum circle and i think that may be shad but i'm not a thousand percent sure I know he's doing like the is it a piece for drums or drums for peace drums for peace but, no, um, but he's also doing still? like a I think shabari not him I want to say that's not him. I'm not 100% no, sure. No, it definitely is. That's what they do, drums for peace, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, so, so he'll be doing that and Shabari, and they'll be opening and closing. And they have hooping classes and glass blowing. So it's going to be a good time. And you guys already know um, how, how, wait, first of all, how much are the tickets right now? I think they're 70 bucks, babe. They're $70 right now. But you can get a free ticket if you send us here a selfie. Being pro pot, pro gun, and pro coffee. We got a few good ones already. We're gonna be announcing the winners. Yeah, we probably. I think we're already supposed to, but I don't know. We're, we're kind of slacktivists. We're, we're we'll slacktivists. So well, I already uh, gave them. I already gave it to the the best one so far. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I you, already like, you, you already won. You already Here, won. Just, just so how about we just announce them? Um, by the next show. <laughs> we'll announce them on the show. We'll announce them on the show. And speaking of, uh, because A, we're, we're going to be uh, recording. We've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? 
If you're going to invest in property oh, in New we Hampshire, are into it the, just makes yeah. sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. We meant, Call we, Mark break. Gordon we, of we, Team we break. Real yeah. Estate. I don't know. I don't know why. In the free so state. the people who are listening at home, uh, Come on, you, know you can't really notice, but we have some tech issues. So uh, we have a feat. Feedback. It's the onion or radio I don't know news. Why that is. All seven deadly sins um. were committed at a church bake sale. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Avarice, sloth, envy, lust, gluttony, pride, so, and wrath. Uh, oh, I don't all like seven of the fatal the headphones 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 committed on Sunday yeah, at the twice annual um, bake so, sale so at St. Mary's of the Immaculate it, like, Conception the Church. According to no, St. Mary's treasurer, be Beth Ellen Coyle, church sponsored events are a notorious breeding ground for these treasonous acts against the Lord God. This is supposed to be about the glorification of God, not violating His word. Do that, and you're no better than that cheap strumpet Melissa Wyckoff with those sinful chocolate cookies of hers. Seven deadly sins were first outlined in the 5th century by Gregory the Great, who himself was, as indicated by his very name, toying dangerously with the sin of pride. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your news feed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty yeah, activists are joining that. the Free the State Project, which is over 85% of the way accurate. to its goal of 20,000 so participants. Off, I'll, and I'll, they're I'll already making the move to New Hampshire. Great. The successes are piling up and are proving okay. the Free I'll State Project is a like real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your so if you're listening, contact us in the uh, uh, LRN chat. And, uh, and, uh, cooperation. and there's plenty yeah, of political opportunity as well. Anything? If you're a regular reader of freekeen.com, you Whoa, know there's into a the lot chat? going on in yeah, Keen. Someone just logged in as me. The media capital of the world That's with weird. television, talk no, radio, keeps saying and the same more, thing too. all originating really? here. Yeah. Though it's more than just That's activism. We lost, we lost the chat, so don't worry about going in there because uh, we can't get in. See freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. Yeah, well, it's That's a free thing uh, already in use. Now that you've found the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM, you may want to help expose others mm. to our great programs. To assist you in doing so, no, you'll find resources at promote.lrn.fm, including details on how to get a free bumper sticker, quarter page flyers you can print out and distribute, banners oh, for your website, newbie something. as well as files that will allow you to make your own custom banners and graphics. Visit promote.lrn.fm and help bring new listeners to the Liberty Radio Network. That's promote.lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments yeah, murdering like... people around the world? Stop using their money. Huh, there is an alternative. Like Bitcoin is a stateless, oh, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin Trying cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's um, WeUseCoins.com. No, never mind, it's fine. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, okay. anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. And welcome back to the uh, Rebel of Show. Uh, and uh, we're talking about Hemp Fest coming up uh, here at the end of the month, August 27th yep. uh, through the 30th. And uh, we're definitely pro pot on this show. Hence, uh, we're all Mr. Smoking Up right here for us. I'm always smoking up. Yeah, I know. It's not you if you don't. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you heard, but send us your selfies, guys. Send them to. Rebel Love Show at Gmail. Yeah, or just message us on Facebook. Or message too. us on Facebook, whatever. It's actually get them to most us. Of the we will announce them um, on our show next Tuesday. Yes, because that. And speaking of next Tuesday, 
next Tuesday is going to be the last episode ever recorded. Are we announcing right now? Sure, why not? I'm excited about I'm it, I'm excited, babe. too. Uh, so uh, we finally got the studio back up and running, and uh, this is actually going to be the second to last, and next week is the, the last episode to be recorded in the Rebel Love Studio 1.0. We should have a party. Last Rebel Love Studio hoorah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Well, we're going to, no, we can probably have a better one as like a, uh, the, the launch party of the Studio 2.0. The Rebel Love Studios 2.0 has finally happened. It has finally commenced. We are so excited. Um, yeah, so more shit to come. And Basically, and we're going to be doing all kinds of shit. And it's perfect timing, too, because we have that. It, it comes back right at the week hiatus because we always take the first week off of the month for the new movers party uh, mm -hmm. in Manch. And uh, it's during that time during the move, which is awesome. So we're going to be in a new studio. Uh, and that gives us time to get all set back up and get the studio even looking better than ever. Uh, in that, I place. agree. It's gonna be a good time. It's, yeah. it's we've been on roller coaster too, so <laughs> it's like <laughs> we really deserve like some yeah. good time. Yeah, it was like a, it's been a three week process. Yeah, finding it, it, this place for and back. Yeah, so we finally got it. We're very excited. Uh, just in time, we'll go to Hemfest and party with you guys, and then we'll come back and we'll move, and that'll be great. Um, and then, wait, when's the Free the Nipple event? The Free the Nipple events, uh, which is a, for uh, listeners, it is a uh, basically a topless movement uh, that will be taking place at Hampton Beach in New Hampshire on August 23rd, uh, Sunday. So this Sunday. This Sunday. This very Sunday. You can go free your nipples at yeah. Hampton Beach. I myself consider myself a free the nipple activist. I freed the nipple at Pork Fest. And, you know, I got, I felt like I got some backlash for that. From who? Who, who would give you backlash about I, your nipples? I feel like... They're gorgeous. Well, thank you. But I feel like people, they, they're, they talk the talk, but I don't know. I felt like people were very judgmental at the end of the day. At the end of the day? Yeah. Of you? Well, yeah, especially me. I feel like it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like people, it's like not only do you see just like a black topless woman and I have great tits. It's like, it's not something. Oh, you're a shattering paradigm. Yeah, if you think about it. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I didn't really appreciate all the articles. <laughs> He's talking about like Maxim and uh, um, Vice. And yeah, God I didn't appreciate all the, the articles because you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Hey. I was mentioned as a flesh pull. In what else? Uh, stop pulling out your straight white male privilege. Jesus, sit down. What's wrong with my straight white male privilege? What, 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 what's Shut wrong your with mouth. Privilege? But anyway, um, I mean, I don't know. I felt like people made it such a big deal. Like the female nipple is just so hyper-sexualized. It's basically porn. When our nipples are so productive. Uh-huh. They're so productive. We've birthed worlds and fed nations, like, through our breasts. And oh. what does your and our nipple cake is, like, it has to be, like, just a symbol of pornography to show our nipples. So I, I'm you know digging what? this free the you, nipple you know event. What's I think it's, what's really fascinating, it's more women that are against it, obviously, because men want to see titties. But, like... <laughs> No, I feel but, like I feel like men are against it too. Like I even when men say that women shouldn't be breastfeeding in public. Why, what, why would men say that? Men say that. That's weird. Men say that often. It's mostly men that complain well, when a woman is breastfeeding in public. And I'm like, oh, but it's titties, right? But if you know, it's feeding a fucking baby, then it's a problem. Sp speaking of, like, a nudity and whatnot, like, I find it amazing that, like, we're still at that stage where, like, you know, talking about letting women go topless. Like, I want to get to the point where, like, free the vag, free the balls. Like, free the we, should be at, we should be at that <laughs> point right now. Like, this is, like, 2015. Like, I, I, thought, I thought this culture has been pushed that far. I mean, we're talking about stuff that, like, is still going on. Well, maybe I should go to the Free the Nipple event as Lady Godiva. I've been thinking about it. And who, who is uh, this? That you're okay, so about? Lady Godiva is a historical figure. Um, when was she from? The 11th century. Uh, she was a noble woman, and 
she decided to protest like attacks and women's suffrage and she felt like the only way to be heard was to take her clothes off um like people aren't gonna pay attention you know she had to make them pay attention and so she took off her, all her clothes and she like rode naked through like her town and that was like the 11th century so people were like what the fuck and so this lady was doing this in the 11th century and a lot of people have they reference her a lot in breastfeeding arguments so oh you shouldn't breastfeed in public like the female body is nothing to be ashamed of it shouldn't be something that's like scrutinized or looked at as porn um and you're right we should be able to free the vag and the balls why the fuck not you know so i feel like just what if i showed up just naked <laughs> just naked just at, naked i I'd get, I'd get long naked. blonde hair and i need a horse because she it was a horse, so I'd ride through the beach with my horse. But I don't have a horse, so it was just like it's, it's, you, it doesn't you, have the same do effect this, without I, the horse. Well, we have we have to have like a personal like record of you doing this once you do this. Yeah, it's just for my records. I don't care about the internet. I don't know. Maybe that's gonna have to happen. We'll see. Um, but so uh, we, I'm I'm really interested in the free the nipple event, and I'm really even more interested because these aren't even like libertarians doing this. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're locals that aren't in the liberty scene at all. Um, it's what is it? Uh, Kia Sinclair and Heidi Lilly. Uh, I've been talking to Kia. She we almost got them on the show tonight, but they're probably gonna come on. Uh, um the uh next week so they might be in the studio for our last episode uh i'm trying to get them on to come on and talk about like the what happened at the events and whatnot so that's that's going to be a possibility didn't, so i don't want to like say you c- have confirm some them, scrutiny but, for what? like your i remember you saying the free nipple event the the your main pet peeve was it was it wasn't organized enough <sighs> i i agree no, I feel like that's what you said. I don't know. Oh no, I want to confront her about it, it too on the on the show. Um, so I'm it, hoping it goes great. But I mean, you know. she she gave a gw- great quote. She was like, even there, even though there is no meeting spot, I have a feeling we will notice each other, meaning all the naked women, and make some new friends. I plan on walking around, and I'll gladly introduce myself. But I want to enjoy the beach as much as you all. Um, we don't need a giant gathering. Oh, oh, we're heading out. Well, anyway, basically, they just want it to be normal. Not the apocalypse. It's boobs. I can get, I can get behind some boobs, babe. I got a good story for that. Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show, and uh, we were talking about the Free the Nipple event coming up on August 23rd, so this Sunday. Um, you can check out our friend, uh, I, I don't even know the YouTube link, so I should be more prepared, but there is a, one of our friends, Bo Davis. Uh, who he was in here during the break, so if you're watching us live at rebelloveshow.com, click on live, you could have seen his cameo appearance during um, the break. Yeah, and he made an awesome video on Free the Nipple, so hopefully you can find that. I don't... Can, babe, we're going to have to put that in the show notes, but anyway, oh, you should I'll, go watch I'll it. It's really there. awesome. It's very it's very nice. I, I think the women who may or may not come on the show are um, a part of that video, which is really awesome. It's a really greatly done uh produced video so i'm really excited about everything that's gonna happen with it and i don't know if i'm gonna go topless yet i guess it depends on how many drugs i'm doing <laughs> wait, wait how, many, how many drugs do you want to do uh when you go topless at a beach babe um as many as possible as many as possible um i don't know just m- maybe just the basic ones <laughs> i don't know i haven't decided we'll see i well, mean i gotta work up some courage sometimes i mean to I, get ha- there. I have to say this event uh coming up like it's kind of big in new hampshire like it's becoming a big deal yeah um there's been a lot of articles about written about it. not just like in free king by but like you know like the union leader and conquer monitor and yeah you know, i heard it on uh 
sometimes I like to listen to what like you know locals are saying in regards to like uh, like talk radio. So like I'll listen to Six Ten, which is a talk radio station here in Manch, and the local like New Hampshire Today or whatever the show is in the morning. Like they were talking, they had callers calling in talking about uh, the free the nipple events. And um, I have some hit pieces. I'll get them like yeah. <laughs> um, I mean. I even got in a slight little debate at work with a coworker during a meeting because they brought up how they're like pissed off that their family's going, they're not going to the beach that day so that their teens can see this or blah 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 and um, just stuff like that. Like when I'm hearing that left and right, uh, like you know, by normal people and not just like in our circles, like that's it's kind of a big deal that it's actually getting that much attention. Oh yeah, people are pissed. Uh, it's a very controversial issue, which I don't even think it fucking should be. Like, it's crazy that people are going to that extreme, even. I don't know. But I, even my coworkers were talking about it, and she was saying how she didn't want to bring her little two-year-old um, daughter to free the nipple. And I'm like, why? Like, you breastfed her. You, you, you want to teach her that her, you know, her body's nothing to be ashamed of. It's not like you're talk- taking her into a fucking bathhouse and you're saying sell yourself. Like, you're saying, you know, your, your body's pure. It's natural. Like, you were born into this world naked. Yeah, I don't understand that people, like, have some sort of thing, like, if some nudity makes an appearance that all of a sudden it's super sexualized. Yeah. Like, it's, and, uh, it's not. And, you know, I read in the chat, someone called it, wondered if we've seen everything. If we're just super sexualized, are we oh, yeah, seeing everything chat. and sexualized? It's, it's not that. Yeah, we are super sexual people, but we don't see everything as sexualized. Everything's just natural. And I think it's, we see it as so natural that it, it doesn't matter, you know, when, when or where. Because if you feel comfortable and you're not hurting anyone, why not? Oh, okay, they're not getting sound. According to Derek. Well, there's sound on LRN. There's sound on LRN. Oh, yeah, it's like no sound. Yeah, YouTube. so you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, That's. But I'll yeah. Have to fix that. Damn. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Thanks, Derek. Derek's awesome. Um, yeah, and as long as you keep hypersexualizing it, like saying you don't want your two-year-old to go see other naked women on the beach, um, because that's apparently going to teach her some bad value. You know, you're just uh, installing it into your child that your body's wrong, and then they'll grow up and be fucking these people making all these comments. I I love reading the comments on things. People are well in articles ridiculous. like this. The comment section is kind of like the best one, you know. So. Uh, uh, like stuff like this, you're always you're gonna see people coming out of the woodwork. Just Wait, because they have nipples. a Wikipedia page? Yeah, it's it's part of an other, like a whole huge nationwide movement. And like, apparently, there's like a, a documentary about it about uh, activists in New York. Oh um, wow! Yeah, I, was oh, I thought this it. was just like the. I mean, I know I read art Ian Freeman's article. The prophet, peace the prophet, be upon peace be upon him. Um, where can you find that article? We should be more. We should have those articles ready. Just freekane.com. Um, the name of his article is a Topless Equality Movement Spreads to Hampton Beach. Um, and he compares it to when they used to do Topless Tuesdays in Keen. And I love how he said there that uh, most of those people were muggles. Well, not all of them. I mean, there's a great picture of uh, Rich Paul where he actually, you know, yeah, well, yeah, Rich Paul and uh, uh, Kate's on there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's actually a great photo. Like, I love how they like they censored even the men's nipples on there. It's hilarious. I love it. You know, I, I the greatest quote ever was from Bruno. Like, if they're gonna be mad about your nipples, like if you, because it was my my picture kept getting banned from Facebook, which I didn't even really want it on Facebook, honestly. Just wait till Bo releases the video. Yeah, but I don't care about that. You don't care about the video that's in like HD and stuff like that. No, but, like, because I guess what? There's a million other people in that video. It's not like the video is like, a, it's a video of me. Well, it's my true. personal like documentary okay. of my dance party. It's, it's about the whole dance party. But no, anyway, I mean, whether I like it to or not, the picture was on there. I don't really give a fuck. Um, and it kept getting like blocked and banned, which I, I didn't care because I didn't care if it was on there or not. My Facebook almost got uh, banned because of it. Yeah. And, you know, people, I don't even remember what I was going in. Like, it, it almost got blocked or banned. And Bruno was saying, you know, that I should just 
Photoshop a man's nipples onto mine, <laughs> and then they'll be fine. Like, if they try to report it, it would say, no, it's okay. This is a man's nipple. Yeah. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Like, what is the difference? Our nipples are more productive than theirs. Like, it just literally doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's not, like, it's not, e- what, it, like, if, it, if it's not going to be equal, women should clearly be superior. Like, we should, our nipples should be everywhere. Apparently, um, no, I, I hear you, babe. Uh, apparently, there's a uh, Laconius trying to outlaw <laughs> toplessness, and there's even a, a free nipple event being planned in Laconia, uh, which is even, I mean, there's the fact that this stuff is even going on, you know, that there's uh, this movement of people, like, you know, going topless in New Hampshire. Uh, I find it uh, fascinating that this is like a new movement, like it's popping in multiple cities. That there's going to be uh, topless events it's just, going on. <laughs> people are just it, as long as you have people like this in the world that are oh my god, are just so closed-minded to everything. How dare you! How dare you disrespect our beach? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, and it's even a okay, beach can we too. go to nude beaches? Because new beaches piss me off. Why do new beaches Ham- piss you? In New Hampshire, I cannot go to a new beach because I have nipple piercings. Well, that's like the only one. That's the thing. No, I thought they all were like that. No, that's like a one like nudist. Uh, okay, well, we why haven't we found another one? I feel like that's been a deterrent. Well, you know what we should, what we really need to do is just drive out to Vermont and go hiking or something like that. Oh, like, just nudity, like completely nudity. nude. But anyway, yeah, it pisses me off either. because you can't in some nude beaches in New Hampshire. You can't go if you have nipple jewelry or genital piercings, um, because I guess even on a nude beach. They still believe that, you know, if it, like, I guess it, it's like you can't have your cake and eat it too with people, but it's your body, so you should be able to. Like, if I want to put a fucking nipple piercing through my nipple, yes, sometimes it is used for sex, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't be able to still, on the other nipple, feed my fucking baby. And that was a great picture that was, like, viral of a woman, like, feeding her baby with, like, the gauge thing to hold like showing like that she has piercings because you know what like yes they're dual purpose they're amazing gifts um and you know we shouldn't have to be ashamed of them it should not be like a national news to that someone wants to take off their shirt and go topless i shouldn't have to get in articles because you know like i shouldn't have to get banned from facebook and made this whole big deal all because i chose to show my nipple and uh, men do that millions on Facebook every day and you know that's why the ladies panel at convention will be so beneficial it's more when we come back Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show. I am your Rebel Mistress, and uh, I'm taking a note from my Seditious Sirens co-host, and I'm telling you why I'm so fucking pissed. Varane, like... What, what are you pissed at, babe? I, I'm just pissed, man. I, it just, like, talking about it just brings up, you know, my feelings from Porkfest, and you know how that picture was treated. I felt like people definitely, you know, they... They just treated it like it was so, so just, I just didn't like it. And I feel like a lot of that judgment just stems from the same thing that people judging free the nipple does. They just, it's like they can't accept that something can be um, sexualized, but, you know, not sexual at the same time. Yeah. yeah, no. And, you know, it's important for people to realize you know either we're equal to men or we're not like there can't be no in between oh you're equal to men but i need to blur out all your nipples on on a fucking sex toy shop like i love how the yeah think about the children i love how ian blurred out everyone's nipples in the topless tuesdays like at least if you're gonna hate everyone hate everyone equally that's all i ask okay So, so you're saying basically if you can't have your nipples out i shouldn't be able to have my nipples out 
Yes. That's not fair. I know. I mean, I prefer that not to happen. I'm just, I, we shouldn't have rules anyway. Who the fuck am I to tell you you can't have your nipples out? And who are, is anyone to tell me that I can't have my nipples out? Especially be- feeding a baby. Be- like, that is the most ridiculous thing ever. But it's decent behavior for a civilized person. I hope whoever thinks that that your mom stop, stops feeding you would have stopped feeding you as a baby. Well, well like with, uh, you know how... Uh, <laughs> like she's like, nope, <laughs> I'm not going to show my nipple. I mean, for most people, like how so many people talk about how like, you know, like with like media and radio and TV where if uh, Liberty people will say, if you don't like it, just don't watch that channel. Just don't listen. Like if, if you see someone that's naked and you don't like it, just don't look at them. Look around. That would assume that everyone is, like, minding their own business, but that's, like, the or, hardest thing in the world for people to do. Or they can just simply, I don't know. I mean, even if you wanted to give, like, some sort of um, social criticism to the person uh, for doing something, okay, I'd rather take that. Fine. Voice your, uh, dis, you know, your opinion against it, but don't uh, think that it's okay to, like, kidnap this person and throw them in a cage into a dungeon just because they're not wearing a shirt. I mean, what is this? Is this like the, the Middle Ages where, <laughs> you know, uh, you've uh, you've committed a sin against the church, so we're yeah, going to have people basically. dressed up in costumes and kidnap you and throw you in the dungeon? Until you learn your lesson. Yeah, that, that's what we're in. That, this that's is basically 2015. what it is. And it's not like an over-exaggeration because this shit happens all the time, and it's sad. It's sad that in 2015, like, people would have a problem with this big of a problem with breast. You know what Freud would say? Someone wasn't breastfed as a child. <laughs> and that is probably their problem. Maybe breast is the answer how, to how, the breast problem. How do you think we're, this is going to, like, um, how eventually do you think that uh, female nudity will become an okay thing? Like, how do you think that will come about? Oh, that's a deep one. At least in this country. I mean, I feel... I feel like we can never truly be free while we still live under a a repressive government. As long as we still have government, I don't feel like we'll ever get to that level of freedom. So you never think we're going to have... It's going to take anarchy for you to be able to walk around topless? It's going to take anarchy. And that's sad. It's sad to think that way, but it's literally going to take anarchy for people to, you know, realize... You know, my just because I view something a certain way doesn't mean you have to. But at this point, we if we view something a different way as a state, like we're going to be kidnapped, we're going to be killed, we're going to be you know, it we're we're subject to whatever decisions they make for us. And as long as that is the is the only option, which that is our option, whatever decisions we make, you know, they're monitoring it for us. They are our government, our authority, not not mine or yours. But as as long as something like that exists, some kind of institution, I'm not saying I know the right way by any means. I'm just saying this ain't the right way. Something's got to change before that before we get to that point where we can be free enough to be fucking naked. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, we should be able to just be free to be naked. No, I, I get you. Um, I think we could get to a point where a government would still exist, but you'd have a nudity or something like that. I think it's social norms. Really? What kind social of norms. government? Social, you... See, people are, for the most part, yeah, there's a lot of super conservative people. Wait, is free and simple illegal? I think that is what we need to answer right now. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure it actually isn't. I thought the, you looked at it. Them. No, do you think... It's more about a social norm than anything else. No, I mean, I mean, literally, is it against the law for a woman to have her breast out in public? Yes. That is the question. I don't actually believe there's no ordinance really against their law. Okay. Because there's there's ordinance against uh, uh, too many people standing on the fucking sidewalk. (laughs) As we've seen. So you you, you never know. Yeah. So uh, to change subjects, uh, what uh, Anne's uh, referring to here, we, uh, we did some cop locking. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. My rebel mistress. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm sorry, babe. I would never. Uh... Uh, no, we were going to have Renee Cake on the show to talk about it, but oh, I guess not. No, so. babe, babe, babe. We're, we're like coming up on two minutes into the break. Like We're, we're going to come. We're gonna swing it back around. It's okay. Be a whole um, story about it. I just, I really had this like great picture of this lady. Um, she has like twins and it's like this great breastfeeding coat, but I can't even enlarge it. Um, but it kind of made me think about... I don't know if you ever heard about that picture 
uh, it was a girl who had just graduated college and she had her graduation cap and gown on and she took her graduation cap and gown picture feeding her newborn baby. Did, Wasn't there like some sort of controversy where they did it one with a black chick and one with a white chick and like well, it was the white showing, chick was like yeah. uh, like there was like a controversy where one looked trashy and one looked like elegant but it was exact same like fo- um like a pose yeah. and everything like and that. It, no, it was the, the exact same picture that two separate women had taken. Um, and I'm the black chick, her comments were basically, oh, that's disgraceful, like, put your nipples away, like, we understand you got a baby, but calm down. And then the white chick was like, oh, this is so radiant, all of the breastfeeding in the world, like, yes. And it was really weird. But I think people still were against hers, too, and both of theirs because their boobs were out and they had babies in their hand and they're like oh there's time and a place for that so i think they both end up with that scrutiny which is really what we're talking about and well here's here's a question um when uh when we have kids are you gonna breastfeed in public i'm gonna breastfeed everywhere everyone's gonna see my tits all the time Yes, whenever my baby needs to eat, you will see my breast. <laughs> what the fuck? No, like I'm just I understand where you what stand. is wrong I'm, with people. I'm just curious, you personally, are you going to be whipping them out left and right? The, yes, the that is where I personally stand on it. I feel like people, it's not like, you know, people are just like popping them out. Hey, the, I'm, I'm hot right now. I'm just going to plop my boob out. Like you're literally nurturing a human being. So everyone could fuck themselves with their opinions. How long are you going to breastfeed? Till the baby's like six or seven. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. I know a woman who did that. Yeah. I knew a woman who breastfed her son until he was five. What reason would you be breastfeeding your kid till five? She said it was like good for him and he ate other things, but he still like breastfed and it was like good for the immune system. And, you know, I think that breastfeeding well i know breastfeeding burns a lot of carbs so the more you breastfeed like the more carbs you're burning i feel like it was like more of a weight loss thing she was using it as a like a weight loss routine so breastfeeding can be a weight loss strategy or yeah no it it can it's proven because it's like the amount of carbs it burns is so if you're doing Atkins, you can just like blaze through weight if you're breastfeeding. Yeah, basically. So I well, you can't because you can't breastfeed. Ha! Yeah. Your useless nipples. You should, <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I'm like, just yeah, like the unsullied. Like men don't need nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that scene? Men yes. don't need nipples. Okay. I mean, I feel like this is demonstrated a lot. Also. Women with their menstrual cycles. Did you hear about the lady who ran, like, the marathon and she didn't wear a tampon the whole time because the protest? Oh, yeah, like, yeah that was, like, like um, uh, get, getting rid of the, the, the taboo of having a period or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and uh, that, that was fucking gross because I don't know, but I just thought well, it was yeah, gross. Yeah, periods are gr- periods periods are, are gross. Periods are gross. I don't know, how, gross. You, I don't know how you women walk around with those things. I'm going to say periods are gross. Now, they're but, left and right. Like, I... <laughs> No, but my but my point is, you know, a lot of those comments on that were if men had a period, there'd be fucking tampon pawn stores left and right, free. Get all the tampons you can get. They'd have tampons at bars next to the cups. Fucking men. This is why we need the ladies panel at Keenvention. I love male privilege. No, we're not taking selfies. We're recording the cops so they don't beat the shit out of the people out here. Oh, and if they do, we'll hold them accountable. This is public property. Why are you guys kicking them out? What's that? Why are you guys moving them? They have private property, no trespassing. They're sitting on this, the wall that belongs to the property. Fair enough. Okay. We live right here. You guys, you know you're not, they're not supposed to um, record. We're, not reco- we're recording them so they don't hurt you. Why are they recording? 
Oh, I thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for that. We're NWA. Oh, you can get off the wall, but you can stand on the sidewalk. It's public property. Yeah, you can stand on the sidewalk. Yeah, we can stand on the sidewalk. Thank you, God bless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm on my own. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Michael. I like how the only people who show up in the are these fuckers. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's hand these out. Can we have them out? <laughs> Let's hand them out. Come on. You want to do it? Hey, listen up. Hey, listen to the officers. Excuse me, excuse me. I need, I need my What do you mean? Where are you staying tonight? He's on my house. He's staying on my house. Don't talk to the cops. Right there. Can you please come and you can help me? Okay, where? Hey. You guys don't have to talk to them. You don't. You Thank you. Are you being detained? Okay, okay, I have a serious issue. I got you. Why are you guys being so rude to the cops? Because they're the cops. I didn't get anything. I'll get you. I'll just see my friends. Officer Phil. Another one. Another one. Another one. You didn't even do anything. Nobody did anything. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm going to put this on my door so you can't come to my house. You put it on your door and say, don't. Just go with the man. Yeah, give everyone one. Know your rights. I'm going to put this on my door. So you should have had one of these. What is that? Hey, can I have two? Put it in your door. Can I get one of those? They come. Can't come to your house. Now uh, it's FBI. Wait, can I get one of those? Yeah. Oh my hey, uh, FYI, my phone's nearly dead. I don't know if you want to grab my Bulba battery pack upstairs. The black one that's on the floor. Can you grab that and charge cable? I pulled the battery pack that's on the floor. Why don't you go get it? And I want to go get it. Okay. <laughs>
They're trying to distract everyone. Something's going on in there. Ask him if you're under arrest. That's the only way you have to answer. He's not your friend. What's going on? Don't touch it. We don't know. Look, I have a tattoo right here. Look, look. You know what's going on? Nope. You guys are filming. You got, you, you've been here longer than us. You got it on film. Hit, hit no, we don't know. We literally just walked outside because we saw Yo, a bunch of Excuse me. Can I have your attention? Listen up. No. But we don't want to keep getting called back here every every five minutes. We're in this fight You guys have a better place to go. I'm about to put down the right. I'm just keeping it right here, okay? For once? I didn't hear these guys. <laughs> I didn't hear them either. What do you think they're gonna do? I don't know. I mean, we're not. Put on your blood. I'm going to get cops I know there were yeah, a lot of cops over there. There's a lot of people over there at one point. And then around the corner, there were some other people too. And honestly, like I think our presence has stopped them. Yeah. Most of the people that are going into my house, they can't come knocking on my door and ask me, right? No, with, you mean this? Wait, I'm, just, I'm just asking in general. Because the police cannot enter your home unless they have a warrant to search your uh, premises. It's under the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights. They cannot search your home without unreasonable search procedure. I mean, they can, they need a warrant issued by a judge in order to do it. You know, honestly, I honestly think that us out here recording and handing that stuff out, preventing them from even doing anything right here, right yeah, now. the other day, I think they, like, put one of my friends on a bike and they started putting them in handcuffs. Yeah. That's they don't want this on film. They, they don't want it recorded. So if you, ever you see cops come up to you, take out your cell phone and record them. You should record them every single time that they come up to you. Because they didn't just Why? You say that? Why? Because police are known for, uh, for police brutality. Just go on YouTube and look up uh, police brutality. They're beating people up and killing people all the time. So they're no, they don't want it on film, though. They don't ever want it on film. Always record it. Don't, don't look up to them as if they're authority. They're another human being just like you and me. I know. Hey, which side do I put them on? This side or this side? I like that side better because that tells them immediately that they need to come back with a warrant to search your home. Do you guys have any warrant? Uh, yeah. Here, take them. Hand them out to your friends. Pass it out to the squad. Pass it out to the squad, bro. Yeah, let me go. Come on. And also check out, check out the website on there, too. Yeah, who wants this? Yo, you got to pay? What? I have no idea what's going on. I'm just hanging out lit and recording. That's what it sounds like. 
I have no idea. A cop hit someone in the And then arrest the person they had to arrest. Take this. 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 Take Yo, what's your problem, man? I just wanna eat McDonald's, God. You won't even listen to those dudes, man. Come on, man, I'm freaking white, bro. I'm just like, over roasted and shut up. Wait, you're burning me? What the hell are you watching? I have no idea. But this, is, a, nice this, this is activism, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what he's wearing? That shirt? Yeah. <laughs> the Manchester Police shirt. Wait, which one? I thought you were talking about the The Empire. No, no. That basketball shirt. That's a Manchester PD, like, youth league, like, t shirt. I'm pretty sure it is. This is ironic. <laughs> take a picture. Yo, yo, take a picture. No, let me, let me. Take a picture, take a picture. Put your handcuffs on. Yeah, they make a really risky. Please come back with the warrant. I have no idea. That was backwards to a thing I have ever watched. Take a picture. Take a picture. I know. <laughs> they took selfies with them. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Are you guys serious? <laughs> what the hell is this going on? That's funny a little bit. <laughs> No, why would you do that? Yo, hurry, 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 get me, get me, get me, get me. Yo, hurry, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Hold up, hold up. I like how I put it. I gotta watch out. Are you serious? Yeah. Shut up. Let's get it! Come back with the warrant. FBO, Exactly! You have 30 days. FBO, get Yeah. Time to go. You're on the sidewalk. You're blocking the sidewalk. You need to go. You need to go now. You're on some private property. You need to go. That's my cousin. That's my cousin. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The three of you are blocking the sidewalk. You can have three people or more on the sidewalk. You need to move, please. You can't have how many? Three or more. You can't have three or more people. Yes, there is. Where do, where do I find the city ordinance at? Yeah. Listed on our website. You know which number it is, so I can easily find it. Ninety six. It's in the. It's in the general. So what if we're just walking down the street together? Is it, do I do? Right now you're, you're stopped. You're standing. You're blocking. Okay. What if we walk down to the end? Listen, listen. Walk down the end and turn around and walk back. Yeah. Turn around that end and walk back. Well, no. Can we just stand right there? Like, how far away do we have to be from this location so I can keep recording? You have to be moving. I can't stop at any given time. What if? I just stand right there. We're not right going to play what if, sir, yeah. okay? I just explained the law to you. City ordinance number Well, you said three people. You said three. So if it's less than three, then that's yes. okay, correct? Yes. Okay. You're intelligent enough to interpret that. All right. Thank you very much. They're going to stand right here. I'm going to stand right here. Now we're not blocking it. Wow, you guys gave him pizza. It's so nice of you. Why are you giving us a hard time? Come on, let's go. Time to go. Let's see much. You know, are we disrespecting you? Come on. <laughs>
Yo, who got pizza? I didn't eat Renee, I would stand next to you, but I don't want to violate the law. So I'm standing over here. I never ate no pizza. Hey, you guys are violating the law. Don't stand next to each other. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, he's serious. I'm joking. Enjoy it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm your honey. I don't care. No, yo, this is that new song. We don't give a fuck. These people are like making it that's freedom of speech. He can say whatever he wants. The First Amendment, you took an oath to protect that, not to kidnap people for practicing it. They pulled up, tried scaring oh, them away. Oh, yeah, I did. I got you threatening uh, violence against them, too. I got you threatening violence against them. You said you would arrest him, which is kidnapping, all because he spoke. So, I got that. Thank you. I try. I wish you guys were instead of threatening violence against people. Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show, and we're uh, back on with Renee late, as yeah. always. Well, she's she's yeah she's late. Uh, so the other day, uh, you know, because you know us, we're uh, we hate the cops, and uh, we're we're pulling up to the studio in in the ghettos. Of Fuck the Manage. cops is what you meant. Fuck the police. Oh, well, I mean, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basically, there's like, so here, I'm painting the scene. And if you want to see the video, you can go to rebelloveshow.com. Uh, it's on the homepage there. Uh, and uh, so there's like, a, what, 20 kids, 15 kids? There's a lot of teenagers out there. Yeah. Almost all of them minorities. Well, I can, can I freeze? Are Sh you the minority? Yeah. Because. First of all, I'm just painting a picture. What yeah, mean? but I, I'm not I trying like to say that. That's, that's not uh, a good description because I don't know. I I, I I work in culture and that's what I do. So I feel like I, I like to describe people with correct adjectives. If you're going to be like, say things like minority. Oh, well, then, then, then like, go forth. First of all, paint the better Man picture for me. Manchester has a large refugee population. Um, so most of these kids are kids of refugees their parents don't speak any english yes they're minority teens but the, the, i just want to paint the picture even better for you they're always hanging out out there they don't really know any better their parents are all like always in the house they they don't come out if they see they're with the police they're not going to come out because they don't speak english and they're afraid of the police or what the police are going to say um so a lot of these kids they're the only people who speak english in their family um, I, I work at a in a place where I deal with that all day. Uh, so, you know, they have more of an adult responsibility. So I, it really amazed me, um, you know, just talking to them. Because always I'm like, those little fucking shits, they're like so loud. Mm -hmm. Just like outside of the house all the time. Yeah, they are really loud out there sometimes. And I'm just like, lie. those little fuckers, like all the time. Um, but it really amazed me, like talking to them because, you know, they have thoughts in their head. You know, it's not all just loudness. Like, and if they knew how to direct that better, I, I feel like it, it could actually be beneficial. Well, they're definitely very receptive. And Renee finally joined us in the studio. Hey, Did Renee. somebody say "fuck the police"? <laughs> oh yeah. The well, you, you are a cop block expert, so you came into the scene, and uh, wow, Pete and Adamo were forming cop block. I watched that shit go down. God, that's hardcore. I'm Ojido. I know. 
So, uh, like, well, that's what's crazy. Like, like, we saw this going down, and, like, I, I literally had to chase after you, because you're, like, you just grab your camera and, like, run and out I'm the door. I'm gone. I know yeah. how they work. Yeah. So, like, we, we She's like, used to people getting arrested. She's like, I know. Yeah. How so, do I get Renee high? Well, like, my boyfriend was on, his, was on his way over, and, like, being Ian Freeman's ex, every time the cops show up, I'm, like, afraid that they're going to arrest my boyfriend. So, like, by habit, I saw the lights outside of my house and ran out the door, like, shit, don't arrest my boyfriend. Then I realized my boyfriend wasn't even here yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, there's, like, all these kids, all these teenagers out there on bikes and stuff like that. And oh, there's like a multiple squad cars, lights everywhere. There's you know half a dozen cops out there, uh, and uh, you know so we walk up. We just walk up immediately. Like cameras on, already you know aiming and whatnot. But you guys forgot the key aspect. What's the key aspect? Which I saved the day. Please tell me a little new age shit. Yeah, because I'm like the best at this shit though. So. Shut up. They go down there, cameras are blazing, and I'm like, you know, these kids aren't going to understand. So oh. I fucking grab the lit. Because you know what? They need something else besides your cameras. They need something they can take home. They need a fucking comeback with a warrant door knocker. Because that's something they're going to take home. That's something they're going to remember. And I love the fucking cop lock symbol. Like that camera just right up in their faces. That, and then they'll Google it and hopefully learn more. There's a know your rights section of the site i believe yeah and those kids were like chanting you know they can't tell me what to think yeah you but know? then they're taking selfies the, with the fucking cops like idiots taking selfies with, well yeah but they were holding cop like lit well fair enough but still they're teen they're, yeah they yeah, were their teachers could go back i mean they're teenagers they're stupid kids who make too much noise but they weren't doing anything yeah they, were just, they, they weren't doing it's anything. funny because i hear them every night but this particular night it wasn't them who brought me out there it was the fucking cop lights yeah that's what distracted me. Yeah, the cop lights brought them out there. Yeah. Well, what's what sucks is, is like this, you know, these kids live here. Like this is like they're always out there because they live in these apartments. Like this is their home. Yeah. yeah. You come up through you here know? with like your lights are flashing and all your shiny badges. Like why are you standing on the sidewalk? Oh, oh my God. The best quote from this guy. He was like. I just brought pizza to your school the other day. I just gave yeah, you guys yeah, the, yeah, the, the cop. The, fuck? the cop was like, you know, why are you? Why aren't you doing what you're what you're told? Because I'm we you bought we bought you pizza. Like we bought you pizza. Like <laughs> he literally <laughs> said that. He literally said that. I was like, what the what, what, fuck? What are you doing? Like you're bribing like these these kids to do I, as you told. I literally them. was like screaming. So predatorial. I literally I literally was screaming. Don't sell don't sell your freedom for pizza. Well, it's not, it's not only that. Like imagine if like some guy like got out of a van <laughs> and was like trying to get these kids to do it do what he's telling them to do because he bought what? them pizza. I gave you candy the other day. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's like some sort of predator trying to, like, you know, bribe the little kids to do as they're told with food and candy. Yeah, well, that like, was my if, first if reaction. You're friend, but... If you're their friend, then how about, like, you know, they're out here because they're curious. They're You're harassing them, first of all. If you wouldn't have came over there, I'm sure they would have dispersed and just went back to their normal fucking habitats. But they made a big scene, as cops usually do. They made shit worse. And one, th well, first, yeah, they definitely made it worse. Um, uh, just for their your presence, they're blocking traffic left and right. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. they're trying to bully. They're just over there, just trying to bully. Okay. Intimidation factor. If like, you're you standing have... on the sidewalk, you're getting arrested. Like, and you think they have something better to do than like you know break up some teenagers hanging out on a corner? They, see, they like, were laughing. there for something else. And that's the thing. That's why I don't trust the fucking cops. And you never should. And I'm glad you guys went out there and recorded it. You never know what... The, those cops seem pissed the fuck off that we even... Showed said, up. Said uh, anything yeah. to them. Well, they left fast. They saw us and they were like, nope. nope. They yeah. tried to harass us and we were basically like, fuck, fuck off. You. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, and that helped because the kids saw that. Yeah, yeah and they, yeah, said, like, they started saying fuck off. One of these kids, oh my God, it was like the best part of the night. It was right as they were leaving and this kid's like, fuck the police. And this cop runs back up all pissed off go ahead swear again you little shit you'll be arrested and i was like free speech free speech and rob was like hey that's you swore no to the constitution that's his first amendment right and this motherfucker was like god 
like walked off to his car so pissed off and he's like did you get that free speech on camera and we're like we sure did that was the best part of the night he was so pissed he was so well, mad that, like when i uh even said that like uh when he asked that question i'm like yeah i got that i got you threatening uh, to kidnap a kid over you know ta- you know freedom of speech standing yeah and then he's like and then he like he pulled the car car like up like thinking like he's gonna pull back in and then like asked like you know what did you say and I said what did you exa- say to me boy I said the exact same thing again I thought he, like he like laughed or something but like it- y'all y'all are hilarious yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so are you. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking out here in your little fucking trampy bike store. It's like, get a fucking real job. Oh my God, the trampy You prick in a hat. They're, they're, so, they're such slut. The cops are slutty. I don't know. <laughs> Well, at least you know what? I'll give them that. I'll give them this much credit. At least the Manch PD look like slutty, and they don't look like you know uh, military commandos like in other cities. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? It's hard to take them seriously. It is yeah. hard to take them seriously when they're wearing like the the short shorts and they're on bikes. But it's also hot out, you know. They're humans too. They gotta sweat. I don't, I don't, you know? I don't care. They're I don't bike care. They can cops. sweat. Well, get yeah. a different job. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Later that night, we didn't get it on camera. But uh, I went up to go pick up my boyfriend or whatever, and this cop was in the middle of the damn road. And I'm like, God help him if he's still here by the time I get back. And sure enough, 15 minutes later, I get back, and he's in the middle of the fucking road. And I told my boyfriend, I'm like, I swear to God, I'll go bitch him out if he's still there. And he's like, don't do it, don't do it. And of course, I got out of my fucking car and started walking over there. And and you made the tragic mistake. I didn't record. You didn't record. How, you know how I, cool I haven't cool even heard this been. story. What the fuck are you talking about? But it was it was like on the heat. like it was, And it was one of those things I that I didn't want to make a big scene either. out of. What the fuck is I, both of wait, you? Wait, can Why we freeze? Can we freeze? Just like our audience, I'm a little lost here. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I didn't well, record, but... But you're going to say that when we come back from the break. Yes, truth. You couldn't hear. I know you're not plugged in. I'm sorry. It's not. I was trying to say it's not fucking plugged in. <laughs> I was doing this fucking motion. I was doing this motion. Rob, you're a fucking idiot. You didn't plug it in either. I didn't know. God, are we back? I remember Cody show when he said. Tell him about you. Welcome back to uh, the Rebel Love Show, and uh, our audio is just getting worse and worse throughout this show. Uh, but anyways, uh, we were talking about the cop blocking that took place. Uh, that took place last night, and uh, so basically, we kind of built up like a rapport with the. Uh, um, with the kids at uh, this uh, corner. So, like, we, we, me and uh, Anne here, we pulled up last night. Not last night, a couple nights ago, the night after or something like that. And, like, th- this guy is pulling up he, uh, on his bike. He's giving us all the detail of what happened, um, where uh, apparently the, the that not, uh, next night, the exact same corner, one of those same kids that are in the video uh, was arrested for just standing at, on the corner. Just standing there. Just Yeah, just... Does that yeah. sound familiar? Renee, he got arrested for just standing there. Have I been arrested for just standing there? Why is that No, familiar? Easy Eat from... <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. So, it was great. So, um... That wasn't so, Easy That was Ice Cube. Oh, that was Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, or was it Andre? No, no, no. Nope. No. It was... Oh, shit. Was it Dre? It might have been... It no, it was Dre. Cube. It was Cube. No, no, it was Dre. No, these were two occasions. No, the part where the cop came over... To the work, that was Dre. But the shakedown, that was Cube. Oh, okay. It might have been Cube. Oh, yeah. (laughs) NWA knowledge from the white girl. What's good? How's it feeling? Pretty good. (laughs) Pretty good, actually. (laughs) Don't stereotype me. Um, Anyway. uh, Why'd you look at me? uh, That's funny. Um, So... This guy, yeah, he came over and told him he got arrested for just standing there. And we we're like, it's, it's good. I, I feel like we should definitely keep a rapport with these, like, little badass kids. Because I feel like we taught them something and we gave them a resource that they had never thought about before. And that's awesome. And I've been thinking maybe we should do more outreach to... We do need to do more cop blocking. And that kind of got me, like, on a... Just cop block <laughs> outreach, you know? Like, why does it have to be when cops are there? <laughs> yeah, we need to inform people of their rights. Maybe it's true. we need to tell them beforehand. Prepara- too. Preparation is the best step you can take. Cause like I remember when I went to a high school party, like I would do drills. 
<laughs> like, here's what to do if the cops show up. Do not answer the fucking door. If you have to answer the door, here's what we do. But you never have to answer the door. So, and when that doesn't happen, cops knock on the door. The all these kids fucking run out and like get They're arrested. Scared, yeah. yeah. They don't know any better. Poor and, little shits. Yeah, and these kids definitely, definitely don't know any better. Well, now we've armed them with one resource. Why? Do, I feel like we should do this more. Just like how we go out to schools and hand out school sucks flyers. Like I feel like we should do that for cop blocking. Yeah, maybe definitely. tell cop blocking. You know, we want to start doing that. Do, do cop block outreach at high schools. Yeah. Yeah. And no, and no you're right. It's that we've well, done it. Just, just busy centers. You just stand out in front of Verizon. When there's a <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, that'd be cool. I mean, I can see some sort of uh, outreach where we go to uh, like, uh, right. you know, different like concerts or something like that and hand out cop block late. Right? On Elm Street, even like just late at night, because yeah. that's what they do. Like, they go out and harass the drunk people. I feel like we won. We definitely won. It's obvious the battle of DUI checkpoints because oh they have. We do that any. in Keene. I feel like we won. Yeah, but so they still now do I feel like on Friday nights so we should still go out and hand out cop block. Like, oh no, we're not cop blocking DUI point checkpoint now. But if you come across a fucking cop, this is what you do. Right. And I'm not talking about DUI checkpoints. I'm talking about the college outreach because all these college kids go out partying and they're just roaming the streets and then the cops come up and harass them for various shit like public intoxication or um, open containers and we give them these know your rights flyers. So, you know, they'll shut the cops down if they get ballsy enough. Which is we we're we're trying to give everyone a, a new set of balls basically, and so I guess back to straight out of Compton. I feel like this is why this movie came out. Like I feel like this is why they waited until now to tell this story. It's a good reminder, especially with it's all this shit going reminder. on in Ferguson and Baltimore and whatnot. Oh yeah, it's uh, I mean it. It was very anti-cop. Oh, much of <laughs> they were, oh, yeah, they it was were beautiful. The first people to say fuck the police. Fuck the poli- like that's the yeah. name of their album. They're not saying it in the street. Fuck the police. No, the album was straight out of Compton, honey. You know, it's oh yeah, the song was. <laughs> God damn it, Ann! What the fuck? I'm white, bitch. Like. You should know this better than me. Well, I didn't even really grow up with this so stuff. That is so fucking racist. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on. I, Don't I, take that I the wrong way. You know what I mean. I, I didn't? No, that's... No, that wasn't me. Oh, you know what? I guess that was before that's, your yeah, time, too. That's like, goddamn. Yeah. Like, how old do you think I am? We're I forget. <laughs> like, well, like, to each other, we all seem too. older. Like, we all go to go to a bar, and then they're, we're like, oh, yeah, wait, Renee's 18. Yeah, I forget I'm 18. True. Yeah, I'm not that much <laughs> older. Like, I, I, what the fuck? I was, like, 2000s music. I, I wasn't NWA. That was, like, that's like my sister. Easy, you died the year you were born. Yeah, oh. 1993. Literally, I was born. I, I can say this. <laughs> I was around then, and on, on top of that, just going back to the movie, they got they got the late '80s, early '90s to look down. That's what. It looked oh like. yeah, they did. It looked like that. Beautiful. Wait, we don't know. Why are no, we? No. <laughs> We're like, yeah, wait. Well, I remember being like a 90s kid, kind of, but I felt kind like I, I grew up in the 2000s mostly, which sucks. I, I like the 90s, yeah. though. I like movies about the 90s. Full House. <laughs> I have to admit as well, like, I always, uh, with the movie, I thought it was, uh, it, like, we're looking at it through, like, anarchist eyes, you know? So mm-hmm. we're looking at it from that perspective of, like, you know, the, the whole time whenever, like, a house was, like, when the, in the opening scene when the house is getting raided and shit like that, I'm not, th- I'm not looking at it with, the, like, the eyes of, oh, like, they're the bad guys. And, like, the, the good no, guys no, are coming. No, save your drugs. I'm thinking, like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm rooted for, like, these drug dealers. Like, yeah. I don't get rid of that fucking pot or the crack. Like, get it out of there. Hurry. Get, they're coming, you know? <laughs> Um, like I'm rooting for them, and I'm, I'm looking at it through like that perspective, and I, I feel as if that perspective is growing and growing yeah. and growing. And I feel like even you know that movie was very, I it was I feel like it was very meant to say you know fuck the police, you know the, we the, they were doing this in our generation, we stood up against it like you can too. I I feel like the undertones of that were great too. I don't feel like it was just directly just like a motivational speech movie, even like the gangster who got. Yeah. <laughs> school bus gave him a motivational speech oh my, I, that, that was one of my favorite scenes of that movie that was a great scene it was it was like the starting scene of that movie which was great so i feel like there were just subtle undertones and they were just telling the story of their lives they said this is what we look outside and we see and we write about it and you know this is what we're looking outside and we're seeing now and I, they want to remind us of that like 
fuck the police. Like, we, we need to start standing up against it. They didn't have any, like, resources like we do now. If, if, imagine if they would have said, oh, let me take out my smartphone and just record these fuckers. Yeah. Well, like, even think about this. Rodney King, that's a fucking household name now at this point. I forgot that he lost that first trial. I remember the riots. I remember watching that yeah. on the TV. That was, I remember when that happened. Yeah, that was like a changing point in history. I yeah. swear to God. I remember, I remember watching those two, and I was not born. I had, like, the weirdest, I like... played over and over for years. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Like, it wasn't, like, I remembered seeing it, like, vividly, like, at the time. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I, I don't know. I'm weird, and I have a sixth sense where I'm reincarnated or some shit. everyone talking about how that was, like, a sad, the, one of the saddest points in history. And it was, well, more than we come back. Wait, I had a story. I'll tell a story when we come back. Douchebags. <laughs> Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show, and uh, we're talking about straight out of Compton, cop locking, uh, Rodney King. Now, I would say the whole thing with Rodney King was the thing with that. That was the first cop lock. You know, that was the really the first time that police brutality was showcased on a national level. Yeah, and then he got away with it. <laughs> what? Well, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, the original trial when he, the cops weren't accused. Like they let, they were like, oh no, it wasn't until the riots. What about all the uh, civil rights actions? No, no, in the 60s? that's different. Those were nationally publicized, though. I understand that. But the cops just got. But that like, was, that, was the, that wasn't even. I'm referring. No, I'm referring. No, no, I'm referring to in regards to the fact that it was amateur video that some person actually recorded this. That wasn't like a government agent or a you know or a police or something like that. It was another person that took their camera and walked over and saw this. I'm like, I need to document this to help this guy, like, you know, holding the police accountable. That like happened. You know, we're, we're going back over 20 years. Well, who the fuck got that picture of Rosa Parks on the bus? What? That's such a... I never thought of it that way. Yeah, the, 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 the camera person... Well, no, I think the camera person... I would it's imagine different, the camera, though. They didn't, like, document, like, fucking well, bleeding the Kansas. They didn't have the fucking... We didn't, it was yeah, planned. I know. So it this was is planned. Like, they put the person there to take the picture. Right? I, I don't know. Probably. And they had I would have if I was an activist but back then. The thing is, it's different seeing pictures than watching like a video of someone just being brutalized. Well, right, but cameras were a household thing in this Yeah. Place. I know. But we I'm just saying this is why this was so monumental because it was the first like recorded incident. And you, you can imagine like Cube was showing all the incidents that happened. Like they were getting arrested for just standing there. They were getting arrested for just driving while black. Like, they were just getting arrested for just everything. And, you know, only thing they could do was just sit and take it WGB. from them. So, um, I was doing some research, and uh, I, The Guardian, of all places, they have uh, this page set up. It's, oh, it's literally awesome. for, it's literally just for um, the United States. And uh, the thing that's crazy is it's, it literally tracks every murder in the United States by the police. Like, it, that's all it does it's does called, it tell uh, you the like counted? the, the yeah, grand the number counted. yeah it shows um if you go to just go to guardian.com just search for the count and i'll have this in the show notes too um but uh yeah it, it shows you can actually search by state you can search by ethnicity um and right now year to date uh police in the united states
States of America have killed 731 people. That's it? I thought it would be more. Oh, yeah, it's definitely more. Well, it's probably more because it's really hard to track because, unfortunately, the government doesn't really keep track well of whenever they kill people. No shit! <laughs> they really don't want that number to get out, the, how many people they are so personally responsible like for ending their lives. So this is just as far as they can count. So, yeah. yeah, as far as the Guardian can count, uh, their database of uh, has 731, and it actually goes in depth. Like they It have, has their stories. Uh, it has you stories. Pick this guy's story. It Benjamin. has stories about how each one of these deaths happened. So you can go per date. I, I know it seems kind of cryptic, but like I, I love no, the I fact. I want to read one of those stories because they just look very sad. Speaking of stories, asshole. Okay, you tell your story, and then I'll pick a really good story from here. <laughs> okay, kids. Once upon a time, <laughs> so I was coming back. We're picking up my boyfriend, and it, it was a cop sitting in the middle of the road, and it pissed me off. It was there from the time I left the house to the time I came back, which pissed me off. And I said, that cop's still there. By the time I get back, I'm going up to bitch him out. My boyfriend's like, don't do that. And I was like, well, well-behaved women rarely make history. That's a quote, right? Yeah. So, sure enough, I walk right up to that cop by myself, and I wasn't recording. I should have been. But it was on the heat. I was just pissed off and wanted to tell this guy to get the fuck out of the road. Because I had to, like, maneuver my vehicle around him on this crowded little street. Pissed me off. So, I politely walked up and said, Excuse me, sir, is there a disturbance? And he was like, Oh, well, we're trying to get these kids to disperse. And I was like, You realize they'll disperse if you leave, right? And he was like, Uh, what, uh, uh, and I was like, Look, man, the only reason I'm coming up and saying something is because I just had to drive around you twice. You're standing in the middle of the road. You're the only one I see here creating a disturbance. Can you please leave? Or something to that effect. And He, he didn't like, appreciate that, I bet. Oh, no. He was like, oh. I, like, just didn't know what to say because I was just, like, so fucking brash about it. Just, like, get the fuck out of the road. Then he was like, okay, ma'am. And I was like, yeah, thank you. Bye. Something like that. Literally. You know, that's he probably, that's he probably called like... you a cunt as he walked away. Oh well well yeah, his car in the middle of the road and then came back up here and looked down. Wonder if he's still there. He was gone. You know, wow, Renee, that, you should just go bitch out all the police in Manchester. That and so- then just, like, save us all a trip. That sounds like such a great YouTube video. I, know, I would love to watch something I like know. that. Just it sounds amazing. But I did. I just politely asked him to leave. Babe, you act like you've never dropped the camera before. Or the ball. You yeah. dropped the yeah, ball. I, like no. when I fucking handed the governor <laughs> anti secessionist fucking propaganda, you shit. You know guy. what? You know what? You should take this as a life lesson that, you know, you two gals, <laughs> you maybe you have smartphones. You, ha- you both had smartphones. Okay, first of all. Recording. Who says I have to be the one always recording? Okay, you can take your phone out and wait, hit record. You, you two stop bitching. Because first of all, it's the the problem and the factor here is I I just need to be responsible here for you guys because you just go in cameras ablazing and just ready to bitch people out and no backup plan. <laughs> that's it. That is like, the plan. That's, that's what that's all you guys got. So I need to be there so I can be like Jesus. Well, you, you, the fact that there's two of us. Now, she did it by herself. I was chasing her because uh, she already ran down there. I'm like, fuck, I didn't even really want to go. I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling Rob, this. I don't Rob know. hates uh, cop blocking. I do hate cop blocking. What? Yeah. What? I don't like Look, He's it's a, a rush. Don't get me wrong. Hater. Don't get me wrong. It's a rush. Motherfucker. It's a rush. Where All right. It's an, adrenaline, it's, a, it's, an adre- <laughs> it's an adrenaline rush. But at the same time, I, I don't like going up against people that are like aggressive and you know usually have mental disorders sometimes or you know they're they're holding I don't want to go up to people that are you know have body armor on and guns you know I'm there holding a camera dude was Batman ever scared of the fucking Joker the lights the lights oh, that is oh our my god call, hey, hey, hey 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 we hey. trouble <laughs> you know keep up that lip you're not getting any more Starbucks motherfucker <laughs> so <laughs> you guys are ridiculous <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. 
<laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. Well, no, I, hey. I mean, I, I don't dislike cop blocking. I don't like talking to police. Like, but I, I mean, I will. I, I, one thing I hate is going into government buildings. Like, I hate yeah. wasting my time. Like, this is why I will not go to court. Like, I really gotta fucking sit in this densely cold fucking building. Makes me feel like I'm in prison. So you're just gonna pay him off, babe? You're just gonna pay off the, your, yeah, uh, your money. just gonna give him your money. You're not gonna make him work no, for it. No, I'm not gonna give him my money. I'm not gonna pay it off. If you don't give them their money, <laughs> How are they they'll event, find me? if you don't give them their money, they event, when they do uh, find you, they will. When uh, they do. You guys are such slacktivists. Jesus Christ. When they do find me. Just but, take them. What can they do? Fuck them. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. That's Come how I treat them. The we buy our way out of jail, but we can't buy freedom. <laughs> Kanye West. That was his quote. But I, I don't know. Straight out of Compton really brought back my like thug life because, you know. You, you fuck the cops. Like, you can't be scared of them. They're just people. Yes, they're violent people with body armor and guns. But you know what? We're armed, too. Well, one thing I loved about that night, like, the uh, those kids kind of seemed like they got some, like, liquid courage because we were out there. When we, when we told them immediately what we were doing, you know, when they asked, they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, film them. Like, they're all getting whole about it. And you can see that they kind of, like, were almost brazen with the cops a little bit after a while. Oh, yeah. You know. They got mouthy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And they kept being loud, and the cops realized, oh, there's nothing we can do. And now we're... Fuck the police. Fuck, Fuck the, the police. police. All right, I'm done, assholes. Bye. Peace out. Bye. Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show. Um, you're here with your Rebel Mistress. Renee Cake has just left us, um, but you know where you can find her at, uh, which is facebook.com backslash dish sirens, um, because we're too lazy to finish our website, but eventually. But hey, maybe. at least you have a website domain name. Yeah. That's a step so in the right direction. I mean, right I think maybe in like at least a Shire year from now, you you might actually have a website. And maybe. Hell, maybe in two or three Shire years from now, you might actually have it as a podcast. Maybe. It, it might I, happen. I need more free time so I can like invest it into all my podcast dreams and adventures because I do a lot of podcasts now. <laughs> you could, Well, see, now here's the thing. Um, because you're on the show, as a permanent host um because one thing i do as a bonus content on on the show is i whenever i'm on another show or something like that i throw it in as bonus content so i'm, I'm starting doing that with if when you go on different shows i'm throwing that in as bonus content as well on the on the podcast channel and i don't post it on the website it's only available if you're actually subscribed to the uh the podcast. Well, that's nice. So now you know where to find all the stuff uh, with the Rebel Mistress in it. You can find it um, where. Well, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to put Seditious Sirens on there because it would be every episode. Like, yeah. I, that's, that's, just, when it's, it's that's a little bit when you too guess. much. Yeah, it's more other, when you guess yeah, somewhere else. Yeah, that's my else. other show. So this is like, it's like my Polly Partners, but you know. And go watch the. Uh, you can go uh, watch them on YouTube, Seditious Sirens. Uh, they broadcast live on LRN.FM every uh, Friday at Friday 10. Friday right? at 10. Um, and also, just if we're just stuff that we're doing, um, I did release my first blog post, uh, Sex, Drugs, and Anarchy. And I, it was kind of detailing um, a mushroom trip. Uh, well, a not a mushroom trip. That was not a mushroom trip? Not a mushroom trip. Um, so we took some mushrooms that didn't work. But it was kind of just documenting like a Tuesday night. and um, <laughs> A typical Tuesday <laughs> yeah. night. The rebel loves no, studio. it was like Wednesday. A typical Wednesday night. Wednesday, that's right. This is a Tuesday of, night. A mushroom trip that didn't work. Um, and just, it's, it's really interesting. It's creative. Like, it's meant to be as if i'm telling you a story so you know um, imagine it that way it's not like anything educational it's something fun um i think it's very insightful and it, it's just like examining life i think in a different way that we, we usually don't think about it and i think once we get people to start thinking on just like this philosophical liberation of their own minds you know that's how we evolve into being freer humans i guess I felt as if that first blog post of yours, it really encaptured, like, our lives and how we live, like, our mentality, our, our philosophy on life, just, like, everything. Like, yeah. 
um, in my next blog post, which hopefully will come out this Friday, um, it's called Lipstick on a Pig. Um, and it's, it's really, it's going to be a good one. Um, funny, you know, I, I, I really want to talk about different aspects of community life and, you know, what it, like, what it means to kind of think freely. Uh, I don't know if that sounds weird, but go check it out. You know, you can find my blog post on the com. Which is awesome. And also, it's on Blogspot. And so, I don't know how you find that, but well, it's on need, Blogspot. Well, you can get that up as a, its own domain at one point, too. Well, once I start writing more, I, I wish I had more time to do all the writing and whatnot. Like, I really would love to write a blog post about HemFest, which I really, that, that's, that, I want that to be my goal. A blog post about HemFest? Yeah. I want to write, you know, about the should experience we, hey, at HemFest. For Fest. HemFest, do you think we should do, like, a video walkthrough of HemFest, like we did for, uh... I think we Fest? should make a video. I don't think it should be a walkthrough, but I think we should make a video. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll have to put something together. Yeah. And, you know, just, like, clips, or we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we're there. Or if you want, uh, you have a request of some sort of video you want at HemFest. Sure, uh, I'm sure we could think of something, though. Well, they can always uh, go to facebook.com slash the Rebel Love Show and tell us what you want as a video. But mostly, HemFest. you know, if you're going to do all that, just send us your selfie of you being pro pot, pro gun, pro coffee, and you can win a free ticket to HemFest and be in our video. You can direct it. You can hold the camera. Oh, that'd be the grand prize of the selfie contest. Yeah. They get, they get the direct. They get, uh, <laughs> they get to direct the video. video. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm really ex- excited about writing this new blog, especially because we're going to be moving. Um, I, I, you know, I wish I had more time, but whatever. I'm still super duper excited about it. And so I hope you guys go check that out. Um, share it. Whatever. You know, judge it. Give me some criticism. Constructive. Yeah, because I can't do that. Like, if I do that, she'll freak out. So no, only if it's constructive. <laughs> I, I don't need just a- a- aimless, just constructive criticism is fine. See? Well, I, I enjoyed the first teamwork. One, so I'm, I'm anticipating the second one. Babe. Oh, I'm I'm excited. Maybe I got a fan. I'm glad. You do. So uh, one thing I kind of want to talk about. We really don't. As much as we do this show and we're both Free State Project participants, we really don't talk about the Free State Project, like, ever on this show, really. I mean, we talk about the people living here, but we actually don't talk about it. Uh, they uh, just hit 17,000 signers. Yay, go them. And we're 3,000 away I wonder from how the, many 17,000 of those signers um, will be killed by police. What are the statistics for New Hampshire people being killed by police um i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, there's a low i mean th- there's even in new hampshire police didn't you say like killing a lot of people it, oh okay so that's like specifically known didn't you say at one point that the manchester police department is like the friendliest police department no they're the least friendliest they're very oh okay no, i was they're notorious for um, i would think the nypd is the least. okay <laughs> a- a- according to the counted at uh, the guardian uh the police have killed uh in New Hampshire, two people. I don't know if that's accurate. Wow. Yeah, currently I wonder says if two. we know them. Can you click on it and it shows? No, it's just people? showing. It's just. It's, it's just like a hover over. Thing. Oh, it okay. It, it shows two. How how legitimate is this website? I have no idea. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, I'm sure you can find those statistics very easily. I, I mean, I love to see that people are moving here, and I hope they participate. And I, that's why I keep saying I want to do more activism, especially cop block outreach. Like, we need to set a plan to do stuff like that. If we, if you, sorry, my computer is dying. Forget you, computer. If you could do one type of outreach, you know, if you could think of something that people would be very attractive to, because I've been thinking of a lot of things we could do lately, especially oh, with all it. the campaigning coming up, like for fucking Donald Trump and whoever else, Tom Foolery wants to call themselves the president of me. Um, they'll be campaigning. No one can be the president of you, babe. Exactly. I'm the president of me. God damn it. Um, they'll be campaigning. I feel like we should go out there. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to ambush. Uh, I. I mean, not even we. We organize. Organize crime. I would it's love great. to see like some sort of um like street theater uh, again, like uh, during the presidential campaign here in New Hampshire. Like us go do something. Like I'd love to see a bunch of porks go out there. And I mean, there would have to be more actors because I know you said street theater before, but I don't. I don't. I can't really picture what you have in mind. Can you explain? Oh, I would like to see. Um, Maybe everyone dress up in like a, a certain way or uh, like 
maybe like a flash mob, but like in a like a presidential debate, like half the people there were like all organized flash mob, and like everyone was like doing some sort of crazy sync synchronized protest throughout the crowd or synchronized protest. I don't know something this something is like, like okay, fantastical. So, I don't know. I, I want to see something know. cool. This, I just don't want to see like you know a this, confront this is in Glee. Okay, and they're not going to be spontaneous song and dance, but I think on a more reasonable level, we can make signs, go there, where the protesters are protesting. I mean, not protesters, people waving signs, vote for Donald Trump, and we say vote nobody for president 2016. A uh, huge nobody campaign. A huge nobody campaign. So are you going to be the campaign manager for nobody? I think I should be. Cause I'm I really, think you have what it takes to I'm be a really, campaign manager I'm re- for nobody. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm really into it. I really want to go. I feel like that needs to be the first activism I organize. Nobody for president in 2016. We go ambush them and, you know, call it a day. I'm down for it. Um, and then, I Especially mean, Rand Paul. Fuck Rand Paul. Like, I, I'm tired of libertarians <laughs> supporting Rand Paul. Especially porks. Well, do something I, I, about I wanna it. I want to do something. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Okay. So, I mean, that's definitely some things I want to see happening in the future. Even, you know, with all the police shit we're talking about today, um, we're going to be doing fucking police panels. Uh, well, no, Rob's going to do the cop block panel at Keenvention. So go get your ticket for that. You can hear more about, you know, how we choose to say fuck the police. And we do it in a way where we're teaching others to also say fuck the police, which is awesome. Okay, well, I would definitely love to see more outreach happen here uh, in Manchester. Or like, oh, you could do uh, like uh, hit festivals up, like local festivals and like table like, events there. And you know, hit- we should we should bring like some cop block. We, well, can we just officially outsource ourselves as the cop block people who travel? The cop block people that travel. There's yeah. a lot of people out there that do cop block and that go city city. Really? Do they go to the festivals? Do they go to festivals? No. Yeah, we'd be the first people going to the music festivals. Um, but anyway, I think we're going to wrap it up here. If I can leave you with anything, let it be this. Send us your selfies. Yeah, <laughs> because you might just get a ticket to Hempfest. And, you know, you can always find us. At therebellloveshow.com. Make sure you go like us on uh, Facebook, subscribe to us on iTunes, and uh, maybe download us on Stitcher. Peace, Peace. guys. Peace.